and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a layer floral border. So let's do it! Okay, so to start, I'm just going to go through all my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper. It is taped with um, painter's tape. This is the tape I use. I got it at the dollar store for $2, but it's specifically painter's tape. Um, I taped it in a border because we're going to be painting around here and I want nice crisp clean edges. I have my art, uh, my arches, my Princeton snap brush in a size 12. I also have a size six with me and I have my Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolors, paper, towel, and water. And we're ready to go. My mouth is not catching up with my brain or the other way around. I can't decide. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be an interesting tutorial. Okay, so today we are doing a layered floral border. So you guys, if you have not checked out my tutorial on layered florals, you might wanna do that first. Um, otherwise, you can just watch and you know follow along as we go. So, layered florals. It takes a little bit of patience for drying time, or you can use a heat tool, which is what I have. I got it off um, a website called Simon Says Stamp, but you can also look on Amazon or Michaels. They have them, they're like heat craft tools and it just speeds up the heat or the, the drying process. And yeah, or you can just wait. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a palette. I'm gonna use really bright summery colors for this just to be fun. And so I'm gonna use pinks and purples, bright greens, yellows, and we're just gonna go for it. So the trick to layered florals is just painting one uh, petal at a time. So I am going to just paint a petal shape. And because you're not seeing the whole flower because it's a border, you can be really loose with this and just kind of have fun. It doesn't really have to be in a specific order. So I'm taking my opera rose and just painting a petal there. And you want it to kind of be evenly distri distributed around your um, border. So I do one there, maybe I'll have one here. Oops. You can do big petals, small petals, and I just usually typically darken up the base of that petal just to add a little bit of depth. And just do rough petal shapes. <clears throat> you can um, change up the value in your petals. Some could be lighter, some could be darker. It's really all up to you, whatever you want. Maybe I'll do one more right here. Okay, and so you're not gonna do the second petal for that flower yet. But because we're doing a border, we can move on to another flower or leaf. So we're gonna let those ones dry and we're gonna pick another one. So with these pink, petals, I'm probably going to alternate between pink and purple. So I'm going to want to do my next flower in a different color. So let's pick, what do I want to do? Maybe we'll do some yellows and oranges, but I'm going to make smaller petals for these ones. I'm just going to throw a petal there and you want them all to go different ways. You don't want them all to be the same. Actually, I'm going to use a darker yellow for this. I'm using my yellow ochre. So I have upper rose so far and yellow ochre. I might actually do a couple different petals, as long as they're not touching each other in the same flower. <clears throat> now I apologize for my raspy voice. I think I may be coming down with something. So 
So I'm just going to do petals around these yellow ones as long as they're not touching because we're going to want to overlap. Okay. And now I'm going to do some green leaves as well. Because we're going to be, um, oh my goodness, my brain. We are going to be layering the leaves too. So you can just have them popping out from wherever you like. Again, change up the value if you like from light to dark colors. But leave enough space between those flowers just so you can layer the petals on the flower too, if that makes sense. I really like using tape for borders instead of drawing a border just because when you do pull that tape off, it is nice and crisp and a sharp line. Okay. So we're gonna let our first layer dry and then we are gonna come back and do the second layer. Okay, so now that first layer is done, we are gonna move on to the second layer. So I'm gonna take my mauve color here. I actually mix it with some purple. And I'm just going to layer a new petal, half of it going over that first one, okay? And that's why it's important to make sure that that first petal is dry, otherwise the colors will bleed into each other and it won't look like a layer. You really wanna to try to achieve this transparent petal kind of look. another one here. Like that. You can layer some of your little yellow and orange petals. And if they end up layering over some of the leaves too, that's fine. Some of the other flowers. <clears throat> like that. You can change up the green if you like. I might add a bit of this viridian color. like that. And then we're going to wait for this to dry and we're going to add another layer. Okay, so that's done. We're going to add another layer. You can pick whatever color you want. You can mix the two together. So like the pink and a bit of that mauve to get a new kind of pinky purple shade. Or you can just do the pink again. Really, it's up to you. I'm 
this one here. I forgot about this. And for the layers on top, you kind of want to go a bit lighter just so you can see those other ones that are a bit darker underneath. And really don't even worry about the shape of your flowers. You know, like because it is a border, a border you're not gonna see a full flower. And so if it is kind of off in di different directions, don't even think too much about it. Just kind of achieve that transparent look and it will just look awesome. Okay, I can add a bit more orange to some of these. And I will add middles to these little yellow ones. Like that. Now, as you can also see, we have a lot of white space too. So if you wanna add different colors, definitely do that. More leaves, I might do that. And just have fun with it. So I'm gonna speed this up so you guys can see what the finished product is gonna look like and yeah, that's about all there is to it. Okay, so now we are done. I have filled up all the spots I want to. My last tip is I suggest when you do your petals, go over that tape because when you take that tape off, you're gonna see that nice crisp border, okay? So don't feel like you have to shy away from the tape. Go right over it so you'll get it. I'll show you right now as I take the tape off. That. you can see that really nice crisp border and you can do some lettering in the middle you can put a photo in the middle whatever you want but there you go there is your easy layered floral border thank you guys so much for watching my video I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more have a great day guys bye